To make a portrait like this, we need a photo in three to four layers. When I find the picture, I check that it's properly lit so that it can be edited onto something that can be projected onto my canvas. Then I save them onto my USB key so that I can project them one by one. Let's get started. I start by opening the first document, which is a silhouette of the whole person. Here I paint the lightest color on the entire surface. Then I lay a stencil on it and create an effect where I wash away some of the color again. This gives it a super cool effect in the first layer. Then I open the next layer on my USB key and I paint a slightly darker tone. I repeat this with a total of three colors and finally I paint the last layer black, which makes her really come into character and which is the layer that gives the depth and creates the three-dimensional effect. First I create some effects with a contrasting color and a number stencil. I make a little bit here and there just because it's fun to play with. Now I start building my background with the blue color. I work in several shades and again a little play with the text stencil. All those effects are something that will be covered more or less as my painting progresses, but it is entirely on purpose that I will only be able to see fragments. I build it up, I break it down, build it up again, and break it down again. Then I use some bubble plastic to make some effects with. Bubble plastic is always fun. Here I create an area with white to create some calm so that I can create a reverse effect. I paint the white on first and then I lay my stencil over it and wash it off again. Now I use a huge stencil which creates a connection between my background and my portrait. Now I start to create a dark area next to her face to create more depth in the painting. I spray some water on and I make some runners so that it doesn't become a big, massive black mass. Now I draw a pattern, which I then paint around to give it a little more life into my background. Finally, I draw the text and paint it in white. Then I lay a thin layer of my background color on top, so that my text is not so dominant. Finally, a little more complementary color needs to be added to my painting to create some balance. Repetitions are good, and I love them. Finally, I play with the stencil where I both draw some lines with the Posca pen and I paint through it also. As you can see, it creates a bridge from my background to my subject and that way it helps to create a connection between my background and my painting. Here is the finished result and I love it. Imagine being able to paint a portrait without actually being able to draw. This is why I love my cheap projector. It gives me so many possibilities. If you want to learn how to paint like me, Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.